So this video is about the very simple mechanism that I built um, for turning on and off the lights in my bedroom. So there's a very obvious design flaw of this room because the doorway is over here and right now I have a light which is turned on over here but usually that light would not be turned on when I walk into my room. Uh, so it would be pitch black and I'd be searching all over the place for a light switch but the light switch in this room is over here on this wall. So what that means is you walk into this room and you want to turn on the light but on the way to the light you could be tripping over all sorts of stuff here on the floor. So to combat that problem I put together a very simple design using string uh, which allows me to turn on my light using this orange string over here which is you know pretty much right beside the door. So when I walk in through the door all I have to do is reach out forwards and grab the string pull straight down and the light turns on. Um, the design also has a piece of string which comes over here uh, over towards where my computer is so if I'm at my computer and I want to turn off the lights because I, you know, I want to get a better view of the screen or something, all I have to do is pull down on this string and the light turns back off. So as I said, it's a very simple design. Uh, this piece of string here is very basic. All it is is just tied um, to this, uh, this towel rack over here and then it goes up and it drapes over top of this light here. There's a small gap between uh, the ceiling and the light where I was able to stick the string and the string, there's no pulleys or anything in this system, the string just goes over top, it slides along there, comes down, it goes into the switch, and I'll explain how, uh, what I've done at the switch area there. Uh, the other string, all it does is just comes up here, does exactly the same thing, goes over them through that little gap, and then it ties onto a little uh, bracket that was there from, uh, from curtains uh, before I, I lived here, obviously. So this part of the system here is the most tricky part, um, but it in itself is quite simple. Um, all you've got is you've got these two plastic brackets that I made um, and what they do is they change the angle where the strings coming in uh, so that when the strings pulled uh, you're pulling um, pretty much straight up and down so you're able to turn the light on uh, so when I pull on this string here you know it pulls it up upward so the light can turn off and when I pull on the other one it pulls it pretty much straight down so the light can turn back on again what I use for attaching the string to the light switch uh, was I just started with a loop of string like we got right here just made a loop in the string um, then I pushed it over the end of the light switch and then I just wrapped uh, thin little layers of duct tape um, around the end basically so you can make a ball on the end uh, which prevents it from being pulled out the main reason you need that duct tape there is mostly just for operator error uh, basically if the lights already turned on and I accidentally pull on the string which is supposed to turn it on and it's already on um, it's pulling, uh, basically trying to pull uh, this, this loop off the end of the light switch. So the duct tape there uh, to save it. So these brackets here I actually made about three and a half years ago uh, when I was renting this room for the first time. And uh, I just happened to use whatever I had laying around at the time. If you're doing this job you can do, use pretty much anything you have laying around. Uh, but what I used to make these uh, was I had one of these casters here. Uh, this is actually exactly the same caster um, as was used for this here and all I did was I, I popped uh, the two round wheel parts of the caster off and then I just punched a bunch of holes in them and that's what made my brackets. So I just needed to punch a little hole here through the middle and then another hole up here uh, which is where the screw goes through and holds it on. Uh, for holding these brackets on it was actually very easy. Uh, there's two screws, a screw here and a screw here which are used um, for holding the uh, the faceplate here onto the light switch. Uh, so all you have to do is just take those screws out and then I threaded them through uh, this bracket here and then I put the screw back in its original spot and it's held it you know really close to where the switch is and it didn't you know do any damage to the wall or anything like that. Uh, because it's really just is a temporary solution. I'm only living here temporarily. You know if I own this place obviously it would make m the most sense just to wire in another switch over there near the door. Uh, this is just a quick little way of, of doing the job um, so that you know it lasts temporarily and it doesn't do any uh, you know make any holes in the wall or anything. So the system does seem to be quite reliable. Uh, the only two things that really wear out over time is the pieces of duct tape there. Um, you know they get dried out over time and they uh, they start to pull themselves off uh, when you're turning the light switch on and off. Um, so pretty easy to fix. You just you know take more strips of duct tape and replace whatever is there, and it'll last you for another several months. And then the other thing was that this string here it, it broke once uh, up up through there. I guess there was too much friction, 
and uh, you can see I've, I've joined it back together uh, right there again. Uh, but you really shouldn't get too, ma too much uh, problems with the string wearing through as long as you use uh, this nylon string. It's, it's quite durable and uh, it lasts through this pretty well. So anyway, that was my quick run through of the light switch system that I built here in my home. Um, as I said, it's a very simple system, uh, but it's quite practical and it's actually very useful. Um, I recommend doing something similar if you have a similar uh, design flaw in the room that you happen to be renting. Uh, but anyway, I hope you found this video interesting. Thanks for watching.